Welcome to CCA News. I'm your host, Captivating Krishna. Here are some of your top stories for today, March 13th, Friday. Trump renews call for payroll tax cuts. Stock market now worse since double recession of George W. Bush's administration. Stop putting your phone, wallet, and keys in the bins at airports. South Carolina law banning LGBT, LGBTQ excuse me, sex ed is unconstitutional. And Florida man charged with burglary and held on a $5,000 bond for stealing a $1 pack of toilet paper. Let's get to the news. President Trump on Friday renewed his call for a payroll tax cut through the end of the year amidst negotiation between his administration and Congress on a package to address the coronavirus outbreak. Lawmakers on both parties have voiced opposition to the idea of a payroll tax cut after Trump began pitching it early this week. Trump outlined the idea during a Tuesday lunch with Republican senators. Democrats who control the House in particular immediately <clears throat> back down the proposal, excuse me, uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin and House Speaker Nancy Pelosi are currently negotiating a deal to provide economic assistance to those impacted by the coronavirus. Pelosi told reporters on Thursday evening that both sides were close to an agreement and that they w- would be voting on the measure Friday, one way or another. The return on stocks since Donald Trump's presidential election win back in 2016 has slumped more than 24% thanks to the historic rut the past three weeks, undercutting what has been a better than average gain for an American leader over the past half a century. That leaves him on a course of the worst performance since George W. Bush's second term by the matrix of the total return on the SP500 index investors saw more than double the return under Jimmy Carter who battled stagnation and foreign policy crisis back in the late 70s the Trump gain is now on par with Richard Nixon's first term the lack of fluctuation nowadays means that In real terms, Trump still comes out ahead of Carter, who lost his re-election bid to Ronald Reagan. But by any measure, he's now well behind the 63% climb in Barack Obama's second term. That Barack marked is slightly less than the total return of Trump when Wall Street hit a record high back in February 19th. As we embark on this traveling season, the Transportation Security Administration, otherwise known as TSA, is advising travelers to take extra precautions during screenings at airports as the coronavirus spreads across the U.S. The TSA is encouraging travelers to wash their hands before and after the screening process. It is also telling passengers not to place items like phones, wallets, in the bins and instead put them in their personal carry-on luggage. Liquid hand sanitizer as well as individual packages or jumbo packages of wipes is allowed in carry-ons and checked luggage. The U.S. District Judge in South Carolina overturned a decades-old state law Wednesday that prohibited discussions of LGBTQ issues in public school sex education classes. According to the ruling, the law violates the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. The discussion was prompted by a lawsuit filed just two weeks earlier by the student members of the Gender and Sexuality Alliance of the School of the Arts in Charleston County, as well as several legal and LGBTQ advocacy groups. The law passed in 1988 made it illegal for public school teachers to discuss alternative sexual lifestyles from homosexual relationships, except in the context of sexually transmitted diseases. Teachers who disobeyed the law 
whether by including LGBT issues in their curriculum, answering a student's question, or allowing the classroom discussion could be fired. A Florida man was arrested on Tuesday for allegedly stealing a roll of toilet paper, a product in high demand due to the panic caused by the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. Shafraj Shadiq Shakur, 25, was arrested in Clearwater, Florida on Tuesday morning after breaking into a neighbor's truck and swiping a six-pack of toilet paper, according to the arrest affidavit. Shakur is said to have taken the pack of smart and simple brand of toilet paper, which typically retails for a dollar at the Dollar General chain, from a white Dodge Ram of a neighbor who had left the vehicle unlocked. Police were summoned after he was spotted snatching the covered rolls, arresting him far from the truck after finding a single roll of toilet paper in his front pocket during the search. The alleged heist resulted in a felony charge of burglary for Shakur, who protested his innocence after being taken into custody. He's previously had run-ins with the law, including charges of armed robbery, theft, along with several marijuana-related arrests. He is being held on a $5,000 bond. And once again, thank you for watching TCN News. I am your host, Captivating Christian. And as always, be the change you want to see. If you want change, the change starts with you. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And leave comments below. I would like to hear what you think about these stories and more. All right. Have a good day. Peace.